Uh, today we're going to test swirling with Humbrol enamel paints. I've got four colors. I've got red, yellow, black, and kind of a gray blue. Couldn't find a natural blue. I've got my water heated up to 78 degrees. I've got my borax from Kmart. It's four gallons of water, so that's six tablespoons of borax, so one and a half tablespoons per gallon. The trick with this is to keep the paints as close as you can to the top of the water so it doesn't fall through. You need to mix Humbrol paints, not just shake them. Actually get a screw or a toothpick and actually physically mix them. If you don't, you get this. What I thought was mixed was actually not. This is what I was testing last night and it's a mess because it wasn't mixed. So now this morning we've got it mixed up. Pour this in. Put some black in. Yellow. Blue. More yellow. Got a stick to kind of mix these around. Got my board, it's been primed on both sides here. I'm just gonna slowly dip this in. Before I pull it out and mix this up. Not bad. Side looks much better. A little bit of runniness. This side looks pretty good. Yellow doesn't come out as well with the white backing. This board is not perfectly flat. There's some sand lines in here still. It's cool. Let it sit and dry and see what happens. What's cool after you mix all the paints together is they all float back to the top. So what you can do is you can do another guitar or board. Just go in and re-dip. You'll get some really crazy colors. There's another board. Primer on one side. You can see if you re-dip after you mix it up, you get a real wild pattern. This is something I've been playing with on the guitars. So it's definitely not a swirl, it's more of just kind of craziness. That's natural wood. This is the primed. And actually the swirled up primed side looks pretty cool. It's not just a typical swirl, it's kind of a mismatch pattern. With this Humbrol paint, I've also got a purple and a black. I've been playing around with this.
got my prime board here and this time I'm not even going to mix it up I'm just going to kind of dip and you can see how to get wider swirls So that's really awesome. Little bit of bleeding. Paint's probably just a tad thick. But you get some wider colors when you don't mix it around. So when you mix it around you get that. But if you don't mix it and you get the colors to kind of sit in one spot, you can get these wider patterns. Playing with this, same colors, mix it around. It's actually sitting flatter. This for some reason today is sitting real th thick. We'll see what it looks like when it dries in a couple hours. Alright, so this is the Humbrol. A couple days later, it's dried nice. These are some of the flat enamels. And the flat works pretty well when using gloss. Sometimes the gloss builds and you get some bubbles. So there's some bubbles in this one. I think if I clear coated it, it'd look fine. I think overall I would use some of the flat versus the gloss. The gloss sits differently in the water and on the wood. You know, this is after I mixed it up and had all this paint left over, I tried to just dip. You know, this comes out pretty nice with this coloring. This one definitely didn't come out well. I think I needed to mix this a lot more before I dipped it. This is a, a second test that I had done when I actually had mixed all the paints properly and this comes out real well. Humbrol is a little bit finicky from what I have here. I think it's definitely a good paint. You know, All the pros are using it. I think you just need to learn how to use it. So keep buying more paints and trying different ways of doing this. But pretty happy with these results. Definitely Humbrol has some great color options because of, it's a model paint. Here I think I'd be using the flat versus the gloss. The gloss definitely sat a little bit different.